Estates and future interests are about two interests, present interests, which is when you have a possessory interest now, and future interests, which is when you own an interest now, but your possessory right won't come until later. So there's three individuals to keep in mind when you're identifying these interests. There's the owner or the grantor, the grantee, A, and a potential third party, B. And in order to simplify things, I'm going to orient us so that the grantee, A, has a present possessory interest interest, while O and B, the third party grantee, are holders of future interests. So here's an empty chart that we're going to gradually fill in as we learn how to identify the different interests. So there's two types of present possessory interests. There's the fee simple and the life estate. And when your present possessory interest is indefeasible, that means that it can never be taken away from you. So to own something in fee simple indefeasible means that you own a property right now and forever that is heritable, divisible in a will, and alienable, meaning that I can sell it. And a fee simple is created using particular language. O grants Black Acre 2A in fee simple. O grants Black Acre 2A and her heirs. And note that here and her heirs doesn't mean anything. O grants Black Acre 2A. This last example um, actually tells us that ambiguities regarding the type of estate um, is created th that uh, that is created or resolved in favor of finding a fee simple interest. So the other present interest is a life estate, and the duration of a life estate um, is based on the life of whoever is given the life estate. It can be sold, it's alienable, but it's not heritable or divisible in a will because the life estate disappears once the person dies. So if a life estate is sold to someone else, the duration is measured by the life of whoever the grant was originally given, and this concept is called the life estate per ultra v. And words of creation for a life estate, O grants Black Acre 2A for life. So here A has a present possessory interest in the house through a life estate, and once A dies, Black Acre goes back to O, which means that O has a future interest in Black Acre, and we call this interest a reversion. Okay, so now in order to understand the other future interests held by the grantor, we have to learn all the types of present interests held by the grantee, particularly um, the interests that are called defeasible interests, which are interests that can disappear or be taken away upon the happening of a particular event. And there's three types. There's the fee simple or life estate determinable, the fee simple or life estate subject to conditions subsequent, and the fee simple or life estate subject to executory limitation. A fee simple determinable is created by using durational language, like so long as or while. So O grants Black Acre 2A so long as no alcohol is sold on the premises. So first we see only two of the three individuals here are involved, the grantor and the grantee. There's no third party. And A has Black Acre in fee simple determinable because of the durational so long as language. And one thing that's nice is once you've pinned down the grantee's present interest, you can identify the future interest of the other individual involved. Here, the grantor O. So whenever the grantee has a fee simple or life estate determinable, the grantor has a possibility of reverter, meaning that if A sells alcohol on the premises, B automatically snaps back, Black Acre automatically uh, snaps back to the grantor. Now, a fee simple or life estate subject to conditions subsequent is a present possessory interest created using conditional language like but if or on the condition that. So note that if on its own is not conditional language. So if you see O grants Black Acre 2A, but if Black Acre is used for something other than a sheep farm, then I reserve the right to re-enter. So here, A has Black Acre in fee simple subject to condition subsequent because of the conditional language. The future interest of the grantor that attaches to that is called a right of re-entry or it's also known as a right of termination. Now, unlike the possibility of reverter, um, Black Acre doesn't automatically snap back to the grantor. He has to act to do something to get Black Acre back. 
So what happens when a third party uh, gets involved? Take a look at this. O grants Black Acre to A so long as it is a salon, um, then to B. So here we have a third party. And here, because the present interest of A can be cut off by a third party, we say that A has Black Acre in fee simple, subject to executory limitation. Here, the future interest belongs to a third party B, not the grantor. So we call B's future interest an executory interest. Notice that the fact uh, there's durational language or conditional language doesn't matter because there's a third party. So a language doesn't matter. So O gives his house to A provided it is not used for boxing, then to B. Again, uh, because B is a third party who holds a future interest, language doesn't matter. A has a house in fee simple subject to executory limitation, and B has an executory interest. Now, what if we have O gives his house to A in a life estate, then to B? So here we have a third party, B, holding the future interest, but it's not an executory interest. It's actually called a remainder. Why? Because the third party will come into possession of the interest automatically um, upon the natural end of the prior possessory interest, usually a life estate. Uh, and so we call it a remainder. A remainder never cuts off a prior estate, whereas an executory interest will have the potential to cut off a prior estate um, when a particular condition is satisfied or a certain event occurs. So O grants Black Acre to A, but if alcohol is ever sold on Black Acre, then to B. So here again, we have a third party with an executory interest. Because if alcohol is sold on Black Acre, then A's interest will be cut short. There's uh, no prior interest that's naturally coming to an end. A's interest will be cut short and Black Acre will go to B.